In recent years, Spanish universities have had to adapt to a new common European university system. This system is based on training focus of the acquisition by graduates of competences specific to each. These are the cross curricular competences, which shall be closely linked to the social and labor demands of the current employment market. There is a false perception that engineers should be used only critical thinking instead of the creative thinking in the development of their professional skills. It is therefore considered important to include a STEAM approach to this creativity thinking. Can be implemented in a cross cutting and interdisciplinary manner. In our study, we consider that the most appropriate methodology for the development of the STEAM approach is project-based learning. With the application of this methodology, the students define the purpose of creating a final prototype, research the related subject matter, plan the project management, design and develop a product. During this process, students face different problems that depend on choosing the degree students. They start the project by solving these problems until they arrive at a feasible solution. We will distinguish between option A and option B. Option A, electronic engineering degree students, option B, computer engineering degree students. To design a practice based on this methodology, assessing a low cost and open access exoskeleton prototype in order to use it in several engineering disciplines and find out if students acquire cross-curricular competences. We choose a commercial educational robotic exoskeleton as a basis for the design or prototype the EduExo. EduExo is an educational elbow exoskeleton with different sensors and a motor. With the realization of the practice proposed in this work, we achieve that the students of the degree in electronic engineering become familiar with concepts of computer science. <clears throat> in addition, we with computer engineering students to work on problem solving techniques. Both objectives are typical of computational thinking. Likewise, we will have to design an evolution tool to determine whether these cross-curricular competences have been acquired. The results of such a questionnaire calls so out as that the student do have the perception of improving cross-curricular competences in their respective degree studies.